Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at another Android feature that you may not be using, but you absolutely need to be using, and it's do not disturb mode. Let's take a look. So for those of you that may not know, do not disturb mode is something that's been around since Android 5.0 Lollipop. And basically what it is is silent mode on steroids. So it can silence your phone, but it can also do a lot more than that. And it has some powerful automatic settings, which will do stuff without you actually having to touch your phone. The easiest way to use Do Not Disturb is just from your quick settings. So you can pull down to get to your quick settings here and you'll see a little tile for Do Not Disturb. If I tap that, I'm gonna get three options across the top. And these are the three different Do Not Disturb levels basically. So you have total silence, which is absolutely nothing will get through, not even alarms. You have alarms only, which is the same thing, but obviously alarms will get through and priority only, which will silence everything but alarms, reminders, events, and callers that you choose. Priority only is probably the most powerful feature of Do Not Disturb. So you're gonna wanna customize and set that up before you get started. So alarms are always enabled in priority only. You can also toggle on reminders, events, messages from anyone, contacts only, or from starred contacts only, or none. To star contacts, you're gonna to wanna to go into the contacts app. Calls are the same deal as messages. And then you can have repeat callers, which will mean if someone tries to call you multiple times within a 15 minute window, you'll still get through. So now we can go back to the toggle here, and you're gonna get the option to until you turn this off, which means when you do that toggle again, or you can have it for a set amount of time, just add hours on there, and then after that it will turn off. So that's the way that you can manually do it, but the more powerful way to use Do Not Disturb is with automatic rules. So we're gonna go back into settings, sound, Do Not Disturb, automatic rules. And by default, you're gonna see these three, weekend, weeknight, and event. These are the ones that it suggests. So we can go in and we can choose the days. So let's say that my weekend is Saturday and Sunday. And I'm gonna have it turn on at 11.30 p.m. every night during the weekend. And I'm gonna have it turn off at, oh, 10 a.m. I'm gonna sleep in. And then I can choose what mode I wanna be in during that time, priority only, alarms only, or total silence. I'm gonna go priority only. And then you can have the alarm override the end time. And what that means is if you have an alarm go off, that will automatically end the do not disturb. Now you can do the same thing for the weeknight. And then you can also do events. So when you're in an event for a calendar, so you can choose one of your calendars here. And when you have an event going on in that calendar, it will automatically put you in a do not disturb mode. So I wanna be in priority only when I'm in an event. And since you don't want this to be for every single event on your calendar, you can have it be so it's only for events that you have uh, accepted the invite to uh, or may a maybe or are not replied. Now, of course, if these don't fit your needs, you can also add a rule here. And that's basically all there is to it. Do Not Disturb is incredibly powerful ally in the war against notifications, which if you have a smartphone, you know that there's a lot of notifications and it can be a pain to go into every single app sometimes and customize how you want it. So Do Not Disturb allows you to control notifications in one fell swoop. And it's probably one of the best features in Android, so make sure you're using it. For a full step-by-step, -step, make sure to check the description for a link to fandroid.com. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it useful, and we will see you guys next time.